Want a site that will help you break down the ingredients of any and all the products that you apply to your skin? Do you want to know which ingredients are good, bad, and ugly? Hey guys, it's Laura and today's video is all about a website. This website is totally free and gives you so much information right from the palms of your hands from your cell phone. So in my description box, in my more recent videos, I talk about a site that I have linked for you there. And that is a site that I use to look at the ingredients of mainly face products that I've been applying to my face because I wanna know what I'm actually putting on my skin. Am I putting something that could be harmful? Am I putting good skincare? I want to know. So this free website is at your fingertips and it has so much information for you. So this is going to be the, the INCI Decoder website. Again, totally free. I love this website. I just wanna walk you through it a little bit, show you how to use it and how this can be beneficial to you. So I'm gonna provide some screen recording here for you. I wanna kind of break down and show you how this website works. This works with any ingredient list. Now guys, I know ingredients can be long. We can barely pronounce them, much less spell them. They can be a freaking mile long sometimes. I'm not asking you to type all that in. This is as simple as copying and pasting. So go to any website, whether that be Ulta, Walmart, wherever it is you're looking at these products, they should have an ingredient list. I definitely know Walmart and Ulta do. So today I'm gonna show you here, just go to that ingredient list, no matter which website you're using, just highlight all of the ingredients, click on copy. Once you go over to your decoder website, on your main page, you're gonna see this box right there in the middle of the screen. You're gonna just click there, paste that ingredient list and click analyze. It's that easy. That's all you have to do. Copy and paste. Now we process information differently. So this website gives this to us differently and in about three different ways. First off, they are going to group all the ingredients in groups of performance. If you want to look at your humectants, it'll list all of those out. If you want to look at all of your perfuming ingredients, it'll list all those out. These are also clickable links, but just kind of be aware with that because once you go to that, is you're going to have to start all the way over on your ingredient list. But I will show you a different way of looking at that in just a second. Now, the second way they have this laid out for you is the way that I find to be a little bit more organized. And this is usually the first place I look when I'm looking at ingredients. And that is going to be this table. They have it broken down for you. On the left column here, you have all of your ingredient names. Then in the middle, again, with clickable links, you have all of their performance, what they do. You're going to have a column of whether or not it's going to clog your pores, the chances of that. And then in the far right, you're gonna have whether that's a good ingredient, a nasty ingredient, you know, just kind of give you a little bit of a judgment call. Again, keep in mind though, again on this table, if you click on those performance or jobs that these ingredients do, you are gonna be taken to a different part of the site and you'll have to start that ingredient check over. But you really don't have to click on these links because in this third and final part of this website is going to give you a full description. Now, I'm not sure if this part is new or I just didn't pay attention to it before, but this is where you get so much information. I like looking at the table because for my eyes visually, I can see and kind of get in my mind a little bit better of what I'm looking at. But this third section breaks down each ingredient for you by name, what it actually is, if they like this ingredient or not, and then it gives you a full description. In this description, it will also give you outside links if you want to do a little bit more research on outsourced research sites. So say you don't know what glycerin does in a product. If you go to this third section, after you've seen that glycerin is in the table, Go down to this third section, it'll tell you what it is, what it does, if they like it or not, and then it'll give you a description. If they want to give you more research from an outside link, then it will just say click here for more research or read on. 
this part right here guys is golden this has so much information here that you can just read to your heart's content all about whatever ingredient it is that you're looking at all right guys so in conclusion i definitely think everybody needs to save this site save the link use it to your advantage it's free it's 100 percent accessible through your cell phone you can learn more about the ingredients that are in your favorite products learn about ingredients that may be causing irritation to your skin, may be causing rashes. It could be helping you decide if a certain product is something that you actually want to purchase or not. Maybe you saw all the marketing and all the hype on this product, but then you look at the ingredients, you see it has ingredients that you don't like, or you know will irritate your skin in a negative way. And that could help you decide not to buy that product. There, you're not wasting your money. You're not having to take something back. I really think that this site is nothing but useful. Again, it's 100% free. You can do it all from your cell phone. It's as easy as copying and pasting. It has a vast amount of knowledge and resources right there at your fingertips. So I definitely think that you need to save this, get to learning. We're not all gonna be skin experts, but at least we can be a little bit more proactive of what we are introducing to our skin. If you are here at the end, I do appreciate that very much. If you would like to see more videos and be here for our next one, go ahead and click that subscribe button below. I also have all my socials linked, so feel free to come talk to me or follow me there. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.